to say, Rob, this is a defining night for Joey Carberry in many ways. It's hard to believe it's his first ever Six Nations start at the age of 26. You're in that uh, rare position. You've played with Johnny Sexton. You've played with Joey Carberry. Could you uh, compare and contrast for us then? Yeah, I think, you know, we, we've all spoken a lot about the gap that is between the two tens at the moment. And there is a gap, if we're being honest. And a, a real reason of that is because, you know, Johnny has had close to... 80 starts for his country. Joey's not even double figures yet. So a huge amount of experience comes with that. And Joey is time, but he's, he's had to wait an awful long time for this. In terms of their games, you know, you, you start with their kicking. OK, they're, they're both very well able kickers of the ball, kicking a goal. Joey has proved that he's got the bottle for some big moments. Defensively, you know, Johnny's a little bit bigger and stronger, so he's going to have more of a presence where Joey won't shy away from tackles, but he won't go for that higher one and try and get the turnover. But for me, it's, it's their attacking game where there's the biggest difference. Right. And Johnny's ability to be able to see three phases in advance, and he'll know if I hit the forwards in here, if we go to this space on the second phase, third phase, I know this is where the team is going to attack and there will be space. And most rugby players are just tuned to think the next phase, the next phase. And that comes with experience. Mm. The other thing, and we saw it a little bit from Joey at the weekend, he needs to stop running laterally yeah. as much across the field. Johnny's very good at straightening the ball up, sitting defenders down, and as soon as he sat his defenders down, he knows that's the time to put other players into the holes. Right. So, I think... I think um, Joey's going to be helped by the system, right? With the system at the moment, we, we, we showed some of it earlier on, it's, it's quite prescriptive as, a, as an overall game plan. There's loads of options within that, but it is quite pre prescriptive. And it looks as if the players know what they're doing more than a Johnny Sexton just barking them into position and saying this is where it should be. You know, they're very aware of where they need to be at all times. Mm. So the opportunity, I think, here for Joey Carberry is that for all um, Johnny Sexton's traits... I think Carby is almost a little bit more reactive or instinctive mm -hmm. to what's going on. Sexton is thinking three phases ahead and Carberry is, is almost more of aware of what's going on in that split second and can react to it. Maybe a little bit of a better runner. Mm -hmm. And if he can stay up, upfield and he, he stays and the team overall stay within the system, then it's a big opportunity for him and for Ireland. He's 26, is his first cap in the Six Nations. He is a class act as a footballer. Yeah. Remember a couple of years ago before he was injured, everyone was talking about this is the successor to Johnny Sexton. He's going to be pushing him. He's going to be pushing him. This is his opportunity today. And, you know, what an, an amazing opportunity and time yep. and game to be involved in. You couldn't, you couldn't ask for more. Yeah, Pressured, uh, yes, but brilliant as well. Uh, absolutely. And just to, to, to Robbie's point there, when, it, when you see a 10 crabbing across fields going sideways, yeah. it's them trying to buy time because they're keeping away from the defence. And you're actually doing the exact opposite. You're bringing them onto you. So he just needs to settle down mm. those first couple of minutes and just do exactly what the boy said. Stay in the system, go straight, catch, pass, kick, listen to Bundiaki and ease himself into the game. Yes. And he'll be fine. He'll be fine.